Hello, uh, so today we are going to create a student grading system that will determine whether the student passed the exam or not and whether they are allowed to retake the exam or they are not allowed. So for this we will need to use if statement and we will also need to create three methods. One that will show whether the student passed the exam it will show the student grade and it will show whether the student is allowed to retake the exam or not. So without further ado, let's start. So our first method, we will call our first method uh, is pass, which will be a boolean. So I will type public and then because um, it will be a boolean, so uh, you give it type boolean is a pass and then as you can see where how I type my methods it says uh, lowercase and then the next subsequent uh, words are uppercase and uh, for this we will give uh, a variable called percentage will which will hold our percentages and then for this one, we will use an if statement if, let's say, percentage is greater or equal to 70, then if and only if it's greater than 70, then we can return, uh, let's say, true. The student passed else else if it's not greater than 70 then we return false so that means the student did not pass the exam so uh, now the next thing we do is create the next uh, the next method our next method will be to get the grade so it will be public we will make it public as well and since the grade is like a or b or c that's a single character so we'll use char so char and then get grade and then we'll also give a type um, a variable of called percentage of type int and then for this one we'll use uh, several if statements because we are trying to to check if if a student got an A or B or C or D and so on and so forth. So for this let's say if the percentage is greater or equal to let's say 95 then the student got an A so return A else if so we introduce else if here because we have several scenarios of the if statement else if percentage is greater or equal to let's say 85 then it is a B then return B and then as you can see so the reason I said it was greater than 85 is because we already covered any scenario where the grade is the percentage is greater than 95 so for B it will be 85 all the way to 94.99 and then for grade C we also use another else if else if percentage is greater or equal to let's say 70 then return C 
So if it's greater than 70, that means 70 all the way to 84.9999. That would be C. And then for D, we use another else if percentage is greater or equal to, let's say, 55, then return, let's say, D. Okay, so anything that is below 55 is a fail, it's F. So we will now introduce the last statement, which is else. We will not use if this time around. So just else return F. And so this is, uh, so we are done with, uh, so this one I have an error here because of the spelling. I didn't type correctly so so we have our first method our second method now we need our third method which which is um to get the grade that is to get a grade so we will write our method here we will also make it public and this is uh, because this one is a string we will make it string so it will be public and then string let's say we call this one uh, retake retake message well, if the student fails we need to determine whether they have to retake it the exam or not so for this one we will need two variables the first one will hold the percentage and the second you so you separate by a comma and then the second one will hold a boolean and we call it uh, let's say allowed to retake to retake and then I'll just a minute so that we can see everything I'm typing uh, we'll make it 16 all right, so so we have our method retake message, and then our percentage of type int or allowed to retake of type boolean. So now we need to type our logic here. So let's say if uh, the percentage is less than fifty five. So we have to introduce an embassy here, um, two embassies here, so so that we can use this uh, variable as well. So if it is less than 55 and is allowed to retake, so allowed to retake. So I don't have to put true because by default it is true so we don't need that it's already true even if you don't type it and then if if it is less than 55 and allowed to retake so these two have to be these two conditions have to be met for the student to be allowed to retake so and then we return the students is allowed to retake the exam and as you can notice because it's a string I used to apostrophes and then some column to end the statement and then the next statement is uh, else if so we have else if is not allowed to retake the exam so else if percentage so percentage will also still be less than 55 and not allowed so not allowed you just you can use uh, this 
allowed. So this negates, makes the opposite of allowed to retake it, to retake. And then return the student is not allowed to retake the exam. And then so the last statement now is if these two scenarios are not met, it means the student passed the exam, right? So else return the student passed the exam no retake necessary and then from here so we finished all this next now we go to our main method and on our main method now we need to print this to the console so we create an object of our class which is so our class is this student grading system let me copy that so system And then repeat it and then just small s equals to new this okay and then let's give our percentage let's see our percentage is 45 then so now we can print to the console so system dot out of print line and then let's print our percentage first so we start with uh, let's say percentage and then plus Percentage. The next one is let's print if the student passed or if the student failed. So we type, let's say, pass and then. So we we use this dot is a pass is suppose mm, here We're done with that and then the next one so for this one we need to know the grid so let's type grade and then add the copy this object dot get grade and then the last print statement is false first and then later on we can try something else and then run it so percentage 45 passes false 
grade is F failed, the student is not allowed to take the exam. If we change this to true, the student will be allowed to retake the exam. The student allowed to retake the exam. So that's it for today, guys. Um, thank you so much. And please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.